You're watching KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. 514 is the time. Time now to check in with Kristen Nagiri, who is out and about in Quincy this morning. Where are you, ma'am? I am serving you up some coffee this morning. I am here hanging out with some baristas, and they are going to show me how to do their thing, making frappes, lattes, cappuccinos, everything, which is good because it took me a long time to learn how to make coffee with our basic coffee maker in the lunchroom. So I'm very excited to see all this. And if you stop by and get some of your coffee, I may be taking your order. So get excited because I might start your morning off right with a smile and a nice cup of joe. You're going to be busy. Did you make your cup of coffee that you're drinking this morning? Did you have to call me out? No, no I, I, was, I, was, I was thinking if you did, then I would say, hey, look, I'm drinking my own products. Yeah. Come, it's good. No, but, but I will later. I'll make my own product. They have it ready for you. All, All right. right. Thanks, Kristen. Let's get about this morning in Quincy, it, being a barista. Yeah, she's uh, learning a lot about different people's jobs this morning. Mm -hmm. How's All it going? Week, actually. Yeah, how's it going, Kristen? It is going really good. Um, I've already had my morning break, even though I haven't even gotten to work yet. But with me now is Ellen Michaels, who is the store manager here. What, you guys are busy. What do we have going on right now? Uh, we have our loyal customers every day. We open at five o'clock and we pretty much have the same customers every morning. A lot of them just drive through. We know what their drinks are. They pull up to the window and we make them. And you guys are pretty hectic. You guys are almost as up as early as we are at KHK this morning. You guys are cleaning, getting things together. What goes into preparing all of this stuff for their morning coffee? Uh, of course we brew and fresh grind and we get all the bases ready, all of our mocha, everything that goes into the drinks. And we set up our pastry case, we get everything going for the busy day ahead of us. Um, so all this week we are kind of covering jobs that maybe people may be over, not overlooking, but don't really think twice about. Do you think you guys have a really important job to the community? I mean, you guys are smiling and handing out coffee and really getting people's week started. Absolutely. I think a lot of people come in, they think they have to have coffee in the morning to get their day started, but a lot of them come in for the environment. They come in to see our energy and it's just kind of contagious. So, you know, we also offer hot teas and other things like smoothies that are maybe a breakfast replacement. So, mm -hmm. And so is it important for your staff to be in a happy mood to kind of get pass that energy on to your customers? Oh, yes. It's expected. <laughs> you talk about a job description. <laughs> <laughs> and so a lot of these people have to be certified in, in certain things, right? Or yes. Everybody classes. becomes a barista certification. And then uh, they go through extensive training on how to pull shots correctly, how to steam milk correctly, how to grind coffee to the right course. All right, well, coming up later this morning, I'm going to get put through a little test, and hopefully maybe I'll get hired at a barista here. I don't know. You haven't done much work. You already took a break. I don't know if they're going to hire you. I'm just really tired, guys, but I got some coffee, so now I'm, like, totally awake. So perk up, and yeah. you haven't been hired yet. Yeah. All weekend. It's Thursday. Uh, yesterday I did a pretty good job of picking up the garbage. They so would have I, given I you a job? Paid. Okay. All right, well, well, we'll see. Good luck with that. <laughs> Kristen Aguirre all over the place, trading in her microphone this morning. For a coffee mug. Yeah, how's it going, Kristen? It is going really good. With me now is Janine, and she has been a barista here at Starbucks for the past four years. She's coming up on her four year mark in December. She's going to put me through a little bit of a barista training. So, what we're doing the basics here. Yes, basic, basic coffee training. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping um, it simple for me. So, what are we going to be doing here? <clears throat> well, right here, these are our ladles, and we're going to take, we're going to brew Christmas blend right now, a half a batch. So, we Take two ladles full, and then we will go ahead and brew it on metal. Grind it on metal. Oh. How long do you grind this for? It just it'll grind naturally and turn right off. Oh, okay, that's cool. Then we just dump it so right. Then I'll let you take that. Oh yeah. And you dump that right in there. That's right. Okay. And then we'll put that here, and you go ahead, and this goes right inside. And then you push that to the back. Oh, push right okay. there. And then we always have our timer. We start our timer, and then you press this brew button. There it goes. And that's brewing a half a batch of Christmas blend. Oh, yeah. Just made some coffee. <laughs> Jenny, you've been working here for the past four years, and what's it like kind of having that smile on your face and working every morning and, and starting people's day off? Well, first of all, everybody that we work with is awesome. Um, and the people that we meet in the morning, we have regulars that come in and know us by name. 
know about our, our life. We get to know about their life. It's, it's a fun job. I don't feel like I'm at work. What's your favorite part of working the morning shift? I'd say probably the people would be the, the, favorite, the favorite part. Do you think your job is unique in the fact that you kind of get to build that relationship with them? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's what Starbucks is really all about, customer service. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, coming up later in the show, I'm going to take my barista training to the next level. I'm going to be making some fraps and whatnot, and I am going to be taking some orders through the drive-thru. So I'm pretty excited about that just because I get to wear a headpiece. <laughs> uh, did you say that you made that coffee? Because from what I saw, it looked like Janine made that coffee, and you watched. Hmm. So technically, I made it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Kristen right. Aguirre is live this morning in Quincy working other people's jobs. She is like a professional shoplifter, I think, this morning. Yeah, how's it going? It is going good. So now they have upgraded me from making the coffee to taking some orders. But first, I'm going to learn from the pro here. This is Christian. He's been working here for almost a year. What is your job like? Um, well, I'm working the drive through register and drive through bar, so basically, when a car comes up, we take their order, say, welcome to Starbucks, what can we make for you today, and we'll type it in uh, to the computer, it'll print out right here, we'll take the sticker, and that's when we start making the drinks. Um, first rule of thumb is repeatable routine, so we'll take our milk into our pitcher, mm -hmm. pour the milk, steam it, and then we'll cue our espresso shots. And then when the shots are pouring into the cup, we'll pump our syrup. And then as we're waiting for the drink to be prepared, we'll talk to the customer in the drive-thru. And we actually have a car right now. Oh, okay. Is it, this is my big moment, guys. I've been practicing. Can I take the headset or yeah. do I? Okay. Yes. Okay, so I can say whatever I want? Yeah. Oh, did she already take it? I think she did take it. Oh, can I say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank, you for, thank you for coming to Starbucks. Thank you. Caught the tail end of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, okay, can I hold it to see if somebody else yeah, 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 and I'll just so, let you know. What's it like kind of being the face of, I mean, that, that we see every morning? Um, it's fun, you know, the customers like to have a good time with us. Um, we, uh, our peak time is from 7 to 9, so that's when our busiest times are, so it gets pretty hectic, like we're making drinks and slinging them out the window, and sometimes we like to have fun with it and ask customers, you know, like, what's your favorite Christmas drink or what's your favorite Christmas <laughs> song to kind of like, in, you know, lighten up their day and uh, hopefully make them have a good day. So we like to have a good time here. It's, it's laid back and everyone that works here is real, real cool and fun. So what's your favorite part of your job? Favorite part of my job? Um, it's actually my favorite part would be juggling with the customers and drive through because it's, you know, it's fun to see the smile on their face because we're having fun. So. You know, they should be able to have fun, too, with us. So. All right. Well, I'm going to continue to practice my greeting. And coming up later in the show, I'm going to keep going off my barista training. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a lot of fun there. Chris Nagiri is learning a little bit about being a barista this morning. She was at the drive-thru last time we talked to her. I wonder what she's up to now. Well, I'm still here at the drive-thru, and oh, as soon as we got off camera, things got really hectic, but I did a good job. I may have messed up a few things, but everyone got their drinks that they ordered. With me now is Logan, and he works the drive-thru a lot. What is it like working here every morning? It's exciting and fun. I get to have my cup of coffee, and that helps me get past everything that goes on. <laughs> What's it like kind of being the face and seeing everyone in the morning? Is it important for you to be in a good mood? I'm usually trying to get get everybody started so yeah I have to be in a good mood if I'm not in a good mood then why would they want to come through right so or let's let's make a drink you're gonna show us something here or should we sh should we do a drink that they ordered or, or what should we do we can do an ordered drink okay let's, That's up let's to Ellen. do it so everyone has to be really fast it's everything's really hectic so what are we making we're making two grande mochas two grande mochas okay, yep. what do we have to do get a Steam our milk, okay. and we'll let that aerate, and it gets to 154 degrees up there. Then we'll cue two shots, four pumps of mocha, because it's a grande. Okay. We'll let our shots go, get that going, and then we'll pour up here to the grande line again. Get that going. We'll set this up. How do you guys remember it all? Oh, it takes about a week. Oh, no. And especially when you work in the drive through mm -hmm. on your first couple weeks of uh, working. You catch I'm on just watching, quick. and you guys are, I'm getting, getting hectic. You catch on pretty quick. 
So then after that, then you mix Now them. I got my mill going for this green, this going, shots coming. So once these are done, we can make the rest of this mocha. Okay, what do I do? What do you do? You want to do it? Okay, okay. Take that, and you're going to hold it back and dump it in there. All right, all right, guys, here goes nothing. Leave I... about this much space on there. Like this? Yep, you got it. Oh, yeah, look at me go. Making a mocha. Making a mocha. <laughs> Until so we just leave all of the... You're going to leave a little bit of room because like, you're going to put some whipped cream on top of okay. it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Make it look real pretty. Real nice. Real nice. Yeah, it's got to look real nice. nice. Yeah. That's, that's all great. All right, thank you. <laughs> and okay, then can I plop a lid on top of there. And then I have not hand it? You got it. Oh, can I hand it? Yeah, sure. All there right, all right. All right. Thank you. Have a good morning. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to get her other drink going, and coming up later in the show, I'm going to continue my barista training. Uh, you have to open the window before you start talking to the, the customer. That way they can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's the way that works. Well, yeah, she's learning a new job. I sure am. I am here learning how to be a barista. We've now Janine, who is a veteran barista. She's been here for almost four years. What's it like working the cash register when things get really hectic? It's pretty calm right now, but the people are coming in. It's really busy, but that's how we like it. <laughs> oh, I think we have one customer coming in. Yes, I get to take someone's order. Yes. Oh, okay. She's okay. Well, we won't take someone's order. Okay. But what's it like um, starting everyone's morning off? It's fun. I think people come to Starbucks because they love it, and that's what's good for us. We just enjoy serving the people and having good customer service. What's your favorite part of your job? Well, probably one of my favorite parts is that I get awesome benefits. <laughs> <laughs> and in this day and age, that is, I really, really appreciate it. Do you like working with the people every oh, morning? Oh, gosh, they're, they're great. Our customers are great. We know them uh, by name. Um, we try to get to know a lot about them, and they know about us. Mm -hmm. Is it important to keep that uh, tight relationship, especially when you see them every morning? Oh, it is. It really is. And I think they appreciate it. All right, well, great, Janine. Well, coming up later, I'm going to continue my barista training, and hopefully I'll be able to take someone's order soon. <laughs> so did you yeah. take Tegan's order yet? Yes, I did. Okay. So okay. you guys send me your orders, and I'm, I'm going to make them. Okay, cool. you got to make them And then I'll post late. what they look like on Twitter okay. and oh. Facebook. <laughs> going to be a little sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> or cold. Depends on when she makes them yeah. when she gets back here. All right. Well, I've officially finished my barista training, and I think I've passed. I'm almost done with Odd Jobs Week. Tomorrow is my last day, and if you think pets are part of your family, you'll definitely want to tune in.